All right, so uh, my name is Michael Park. Uh, I work at Facebook. This is WG21 Paper in Markdown. So this talk is for those of you who write C++ proposals who are not happy with their current setup. If you're happy with your current setup, keep doing your thing. So I wrote a blog post about this, uh, how I format my C++ papers. Um, this is a follow-up to that blog post. So this is basically what I want. I want to write simple markdown, but I still want professional-looking, LaTeX-ish generated PDF files. Um, so first of all, we need a title. So I'm going to give you a bunch of different common elements that come up in C++ uh, papers and how, we, uh, how I tackle those. So title, uh, document, date, et cetera, uh, YAML front matter, and you get what's on the right. We also sometimes need a table of contents. So if you set TOC equal to true, then you get your table of contents automatically. Um, by default, the table of contents depth is three. And so that means it'll show you up to three, uh, uh, th third, your third section uh, deep. You can also set this manually, though, and then you can get your uh, deeper nested uh, sections if you like. For shorter papers, oftentimes you don't actually don't need a table of contents, so you can just set TOC equal to false, and then you don't uh, get a table of contents, and you go straight into your paper. All right, so code samples, you probably need some of these. Uh, you're going to write your uh, uh, markdown code block. Uh, it's highlighting CPP. You get something like that on the bottom. Um, a feature that I implemented for this uh, specifically be, uh, is to wrap things inside a code block with at symbols, and you, get, you jump back into markdown world. And so uh, oftentimes, we find ourselves having to italicize uh, parts of code uh, for exposition only and things like that, and you can, and you can jump back into markdown to, get, uh, to customize things inside verbatim mode, which is pretty cool. OK, so this is how you write a diff. Um, you specify diff, and then you write you, you just write how you would write, write diffs, and then you get your color coding, et cetera. OK, another feature, this is for if you have markdown tables and you have side-by-side -side, uh, code examples. Um, oftentimes, it gets harder to manage. And so this is a Tony table. This is a beginning and end of, of a Tony table. Here are the headers, before and after, two code samples, and then this is what you get. We don't have to stop here, though. We can take this uh, end marker, change that to a dash, dash, dash. That gives you a horizontal rule where uh, you're, you get put onto the next row. And so you can add two more examples, boom, and then those go on the bottom. So that's pretty nice. Um, you still have your markdown tables. So you can still write your markdown, um, and you can also do inline diffs, right? So here, I'm doing a square bracket with markdown, close square bracket, curly brace, dot rm. That means remove text. And then you can do the same thing with dot add, and you get um, add added text. So you can see on the bottom there that uh, remove text is struck out, the added text is underlined, color coded, et cetera. OK, uh, here's another example uh, of wording changes. Um, you can do the, uh, an add, add an add section like that instead to get the color coding instead. Um, you can also do quotes to get a little bit of indentation uh, if you want to, uh, if you want a standard, standardized look uh, of how standards generally write this kind of stuff. Another thing that we do a lot is references. You want to give credit to people's previous work. Um, this is the bottom YAML matter. Uh, you write your references. Uh, the citation label here is what shows up in the document uh, in the references section. And then in your actual document, uh, document you will cite the reference uh, with an at sign closed by curly, uh, curly square brackets, uh, and the ID is what you use to cite that reference. And then the generated version of this uh, source actually shows up in your document like this, and then the, uh, the bottom part there is actually clickable, so you can actually go to the bottom uh, where the reference, reference actually is. And in all of that, what you have to remember is that the, the ultimate goal is to get marked down. Right? The simplest thing is to just get underscores uh, wrapping italicized, uh, the back quotes to get code, uh, code samples and uh, inline code and things like that. Um, so that's basically it. You can go to this URL and check out the, uh, the framework. Uh, pretty e easy to use. You can also come to me and I can help you get it set up as well if you want. So thanks.